Hey everybody, this is Drew. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're going to do an inbox review of the Hasegawa 172nd scale F14A Tomcat high visibility. And uh, if you saw my last video, you know how I came about getting the kit. And again, thank you, uh, Bob Boosking, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. I've been wanting to build a Tomcat for a while. And uh, I think this is going to be a, a nice kit. It is one of Hasegawa's older kits. Um, it was tooled in 1988, but I have seen this built up um, on YouTube and uh, it goes together really well and it looks really good. And so, uh, just some of the, you can see the model here, the completed model. And in this, it's in the scheme of the VF 111 uh, Sundowners. And it's unique because not a lot of Navy planes have uh, the shark mouth on it. Okay. And, all right. So let's take a look and see what we get. Let's set that aside. So everything comes together in one bag. We have instructions decals that one you can do it also in uh, the Jolly Rogers so it's giving you two different decals two different schemes so we'll take a look at those a little bit let me get these out of the plastic okay, there's the nose cone radome fell off parts right here and that's sealed up I think I'm just gonna leave those in there but uh, it looks pretty good and looking at it I don't see any uh, mold lines or anything it look they look really clear so I'm just gonna leave those in that bag First sprue we get, we got the lower half of the fuselage. It's pretty good. The uh, the panel lines are raised, but that that doesn't bother me. So it looks really nice. Part of the intakes. Here is the. Cockpit area, okay. And here is the rest of the fuselage. So here is the top part. Again, nice, nice. They're nice, fine, delicate raised panel lines. So, uh, but the detail looks really good. And here are the front part of the fuselage. That's probably the front uh, wheel well. Nothing on the uh, sidewalls there of the cockpit. Let's grab the next sprue. Just those are some missiles. Some uh, Phoenix missiles, I think, and then some sparrows. Missile rail. Looks good. More Phoenix missiles, some drop tanks. Here is the top part of the wings. You have your engine nozzles. You do get two crew figures. Well, that's cool. I wish model kits did that more, the newer ones, but a lot of them don't. Okay, and here are the instrument panels. I believe there's decals that go on that. 
and it's flat so you don't have to do any scraping or anything like that. Hmm. You can see the uh, some of the detail in the engines, engine uh, nozzles. And the last sprue is the rest of the wing assembly. And the detail again looks it looks really nice for you know for an 80s kit. I think Hasegawa was one of the better manufacturers back then. Uh, wheels and tires are in one one piece, or the wheels are in the tires. So you have to assemble them together. There's a main landing gear. Looks like the front landing gear. Here are the ejection seats assemblies. Uh, that has really, really nice detail on those. Let's have a look at the decals. So again, you get VF 111, uh, the Sundowners. Here are the instrument panel decals. And these are the consoles. Those are nice. And I don't know if you can get this on camera, but I, these look really nice and register. You can read every one of these at this scale. No step, uh, beware of blast jet intake danger you can read read these very clearly here's some uh, crew members names decals for the missiles it's gonna be fun take a look at the instructions a little bit of information about the Tomcat and again just start with the cockpit assembly and everything is together on one long sheet So you go through all that typical um, assembly the put the engines together or the intakes together and so it's pretty straightforward I mean it's nothing uh, nothing out of the ordinary from for a plane here are the color callouts I believe these are in uh, Mr. Color paints. And here we have the ordinates. And you can uh, kind of gives you a diagram of where those would go. the decal placements so if you want to do the sundowners the VF 111 all the decals a lot of stencils and you can already can do VF 84 the Jolly Rogers I'll probably do the sundowners because I do have a couple of jets that I've built that are in the Jolly Roger scheme and I like the sundowners that's really cool so I think we'll build that all right it looks pretty straightforward. Uh, have fun building this. All right, so I'm gonna get going on that. Stay tuned for more updates. And again, if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it if you do. It does help me out. Um, seems like my channel is growing a little bit. Uh, I do appreciate that, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Anyway, take care, everybody. Happy modeling, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.